We are back here on Fox Weather. The new advisory for the Eastern Pacific is in from the National Hurricane Center. We are tracking two trop tropical cyclones. Adrian, the first storm of the season for the Eastern Pacific, is slightly stronger. That's the latest advisory from the National Hurricane season. It's a bit of an active period. Now, as we focus on where we could see some of the effects of these systems, it's not Adrian that's going to give Cabo San Lucas a headache. It would likely be the other storm, and we're waiting. That update is imminent here. We have Tropical Storm Beatrice as well. Cabo San Lucas is located on the southern tip of the Baja. They could start seeing the effects of this Tropical Storm Beatrice by Sunday morning, so rough surf going to be a problem. Regarding Beatrice and Adrian, though, both of these named systems have been the first two, and they developed within days of one another. Hurricane watches and warnings have already been posted for the western coastline of Mexico. What we're looking at here is the newest advisory of Hurricane Adrian. You see the movement, though, off to the northwest at 7 miles an hour. That pressure is down about 3 millibars, so it's a little stronger. But while Beatrice is expected to rapidly intensify, this one is expected to rapidly weaken. So that's the good news. Adrian, the latest advisory is in for Adrian. I still believe we're waiting on Beatrice. Uh, as the latest advisory with, with uh, Beatrice, we still have it at tropical storm status. But it's this storm that we have to watch pretty carefully, uh, Michael and Craig. It's because it's moving off to the uh, northwest. And it looks like we just got it in. Yeah. It is yep. now a hurricane. hurricane. So we have two hurricanes in the eastern Pacific. And this is... Uh, just the start of some of this activity. Maximum sustained winds there at 75 miles per hour. The threshold is typically 74. As of the newest advisory, racing toward the northwest at between 10 to 15 miles per hour. And I'm more concerned about Beatrix as opposed to Adrian. Adrian, yes, it did show some strengthening, not going to affect Lynn. Beatrix, on the other hand, we're expecting this to impact not only Acapulco right now, but all the way up toward Puerto Vallarta, a very popular vacation destination with hurricane watches and warnings already being issued. I'm concerned about not only the wind element to this, but also with our, hur our newest hurricane, we're anticipating three to five inches of rain. Some spots could pick up nearly eight inches of rain. Mm. This is a very hilly terrain, meaning that mudslides will be possible along the west coast of Mexico, not to mention the coastal flooding due to storm surge and those swells and rip currents. Not the time and really not the weekend, guys, to be in the water. water this but one is different, too, than what we're yes. seeing with Adrian as the overall storm track is going to allow it to hug the southwestern coast of Mexico there. But yes, Beatrice is now a hurricane with those winds at 75 miles an hour. It's going to continue on its northwestern movement. This isn't a surprise, mm -hmm. as we've known, and the forecast from the Hurricane Center has called this thing to expectedly strengthen. So that's what we're watching in the eastern Pacific. We do have that activity that's ticking up. We'll have a lot more with Fox Weather being your hurricane headquarters all season long. You're watching Fox Weather Command. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.